You Mark and developing right now, the former Florida Guardian arrested for abuse and neglect could walk out of jail at any moment. Investigators booked Rebecca Furley into jail last night in Marion County. Ezzy Castro is live at the jail and Ezzy Furley has been under investigation for months now. That is correct, and we've actually been out here all morning long waiting for her to come out of the Marion County Jail after she posted bond last night. So here's what we know about her arrest. Rebecca Furley was taken into custody by Marion County deputies after a warrant for her arrest last night. The investigation began after a complaint to the Office of Public and Professional Guardians about 74-year-old Stephen Stryker. He was under the guardianship of Furley. Now, FDL investigators say Furley ordered Stryker's doctors not to perform any life-saving measures on him, even though Stryker did not want the do not resuscitate order and stated several times he wanted to live. And now within the last couple of months, Furley was removed from hundreds of cases because of concerns over do not resuscitate orders. Now back out here live, Furley right now is being charged with abuse and neglect to an elderly person. So we are waiting for her right now. We're waiting. Uh, again, we've been here all morning long, and as soon as she comes out, we're going to let you know. But for now, live outside the Marion County Jail, Ezzy Castro getting results, News 6. Thank you, Ezzy. Joining us now, Investigator Adriana Ivashinsky, you've been doing extensive reporting on this case with Furley and this sure. whole issue of, of what happened in her case. So what do you think of the new developments? Well, it's a long time coming. We have been waiting for something like this to happen now for almost seven months. That is how long the FDLE has been investigating, doing this criminal investigation into all of these allegations, but specifically in regards to Stephen Stryker, who was the man who did die at a Tampa hospital, all because he had this do not resuscitate order placed on him by Rebecca Furley, even though he was adamant about not having one. Now, one thing we have to understand is he was deemed incapacitated by the court, and it's because of that reason that his will was not followed, and it was the will of the guardian that was placed in charge of him, which in this case was Rebecca Furley. And this is what was at the center of contention with all of this, is he was fighting it, his daughter was fighting it, and they took it to courts, but Rebecca Furley's DNR is what stood because that is what was legally supposed to be followed. Mm. So that is what brought all of this under state investigation. And when he died, he died in May, they had filed all of this paperwork with the state for the state to get involved before that. But it was his death that really was the impetus for people to take a closer look at what was happening in, in these cases. And then that is how the courts discovered, oh my gosh, she was doing this on a lot of cases, more than 100 cases in Orange County, Seminole County, Osceola County. She had cases all over Central Florida, even on the Gulf Coast as well. In fact, the warrants that she was arrested on last night, they are out of Hillsborough County. So some people are wondering why Hillsborough, mm -hmm. because this was an Orange County case. He died at a Tampa hospital. Right. So that is why we have so many different places involved, so much investigation being done, and why it finally came to this. So it took months to try to put all the pieces together. There's financial improprieties that are being investigated. There's, of course, this death that is being investigated. And right now, she is not facing anything like negligent homicide. She's just facing abuse of an elderly person and neglect of an elderly person, which will be felony charges. But more may come with this. The FDLE has claimed that they are still investigating. This is still an open and active investigation. Ashley Moody's office, the Attorney General of Florida, is involved, hoping to hear more from her today. So there's still a lot coming out on and this. And legislators working to... That is the big thing. That was another impetus because Rebecca Furley's attorneys have said she followed the law according to the way the law is written when it deals with guardians. She was in their words, in her right to be able to do that. So now, Senator Kathleen Pasadomo and Representative Colleen Burton, each of them have a bill, their guardian bills, their companion bills, that are trying to tighten the oversight on guardians and give them a limit of what they are able to do and to get court approval. Because what happened in these DNR cases is re that Rebecca Furley did these DNRs without court approval or oversight and according to the law, she was able to do it. So that's why they really want to tighten that loophole that they are seeing. Uh, so a lot is happening. It has been sailing through committees. 
So it's getting a lot of uh, attraction and we're gonna have to see what happens there. All right, you've been doing a lot of work on this. So thank you for that mm -hmm. update mm -hmm. and uh, we will continue to see your reports.